Um, no, we had uh, no injuries yesterday. You know, I think the the players had uh, the normal recovery today. So I think we will have the the same players we had uh, yesterday for uh, for Sunday. And uh, Roof and Balagun will not be uh, ready to play. Hopefully, uh, I think Roof sooner than um, than Balagun. You've, uh, the club have announced today that Dave Vosch will be joining as your assistant manager. What was it about him that made him such an attractive candidate for the role? Well, I spoke with uh, Dave, you know, a couple of times uh, this year uh, in uh, looking for potential new assistants of mine. And uh, I, I heard really good things about him uh, in the in the youth setup of Ajax, also with the, the Royal Association. So, um, you know, I wanted to talk to him and, and see how he thinks uh, about football, how we uh, develop his players, and uh, it's a very, uh, very young coach, very talented, and uh, you know, I, uh, I saw in him, uh, you know, a good assistant for me because uh, I think he will help me with uh, developing the the squad, developing the players, also individually, and uh, I, I uh, I'm really happy with uh, with him joining me um, with uh, with this club. Ivaria, obviously a great result last night. How pleased were you with how the players have adapted in just a few days working with you? Well, I think they adapted really well. Uh, as as, as um, you know, we only had two days with them, two training sessions, some meetings, some videos. So uh, those were the moments I could um, tell them the way I wanted to play uh, yesterday, uh, the game plan, you know, what we. Uh, had to do when we had the ball, the transition moments, how the, how we should defend, and uh, they did really well, you know, in in their focus in the in all the sessions, and of course in in the game when your game plan um, you know is good and you uh, dominate uh, the game, you create m m many chances, and eventually uh, wanted the result you uh, we all hoped for before, you know, two goal difference, and that meant uh, we are true to the next round which is uh, very important for, for all of us uh, to uh, be involved in Europe also after the break. So uh, it was a good night for, for all of us. It is a quick turnaround in a very different game on Sunday away to Livingston. How important is the, the players that they keep this momentum going into that game? Well, it's very important. Uh, of course, it will give us confidence uh, for the next games. Um, so it's always, um, you know, with two days in between. So today is all focused in recovery. We could have trained uh, some extra with the, the players who didn't uh, play yesterday or not as much. And then, uh, you know, we all prepared uh, for tomorrow when we're focusing on, uh, on Livingston for Sunday. So then it starts all over again. So the Prague game is gone and now the same uh, preparation we have to do for the next game. Thank you, Vanny. I thought one of the, the changes that you referenced yesterday was, was the width and possession. How important is it for you as a coach that your teams always really stretch the pitch? And, and how important will that be domestically when teams are perhaps sitting in against you and trying to restrict your team? Yeah, I think it's, for me that's very important to, um, to play with the whole width, you know, because it makes it uh, more difficult to defend, especially the qualities we have. Uh, Within a team, with uh, with wingers who can who are very fast, who have, they have a lot of pace. They are very good in the one against ones. Of course, the right moments, the fullbacks can join. Uh, also, is one of their strengths, no matter if it's left or right. So um, you know, it it, it it all has to be synchronized, and uh, you know, I think we can create a lot of danger uh, in those areas. And just ask as well about Joe Aribo. Obviously, he played behind Alfredo Morelos yesterday. Could have had a couple of goals. His, his movement was very good. Do you think that central role will end up being his best under you? Or do you think he could also come off the right and, and do a good job from you from there? Well, he can do both. Of course, uh, he uh, at times of the game, yeah, he would play on the um, more more on the wings, you know, when, when Haji came inside. So... I'm really fond of um, that we take the positions uh, on the pitch to uh, to be dangerous. And uh, but Aribo did really well. Um, you know, he was always there to uh, to be dangerous in the box. You know, we, when we were um, you know dominating the 
the wide areas. You know, we had uh, enough bodies in the box to to score goals, and uh, Arriba had some good chances. So, um, you know, if he was more more clinical, he could have scored one or two times. But you know, for me, the most important thing, uh, what I like to see, is the also the the attacking midfielders joining the strikers to be in the box and to try to score. Last night you played um, Alfie a lot more directly than he perhaps played under Steven Gerrard, who had uh, given him instructions at times to you know to draw people wide to hold the ball up. Is that how you intend to to play him as a as an out and out striker? Well, of course, you know, for yesterday's game, you know, he was very important in the, in being, uh, you know, uh, like a target man, but but really close to the box. Of course, when we uh, play also with the white players, you know, when they have their actions and one against ones, I want Alfredo to be in the box because he's a, he's a very good finisher. And uh, so yesterday we needed him uh, in the box and maybe... In other games, we maybe need him in, in other areas. I don't know, but uh, today the mission, our mission was to create as much change as we could. And of course, you want your striker then to be in the box. In terms of uh, Nathan Patterson coming on as a, a substitute, was that to give him a spell? Was that to, to rest Hadji? Or were there, there tactical reasons for that substitution? Yeah, it was... It was um, it was also tactical because uh, the way Prague played with uh, you know the left fullback uh, quite uh, offensive. So eventually, my uh, Haji would play more as a fullback than than a winger. And uh, I thought with bringing in Patterson, who's a more natural uh, right defender, you know he could uh, he could uh, protect that area a little bit better. And also. We kept our uh, we kept our pace in the transition moments because you know Pedersen naturally wants to go forward as well. So it was uh, you know a change uh, I think was needed in the game. First defensively a bit more solid, but then keeping your your uh, transition moments uh, there with the with the pace uh, Nathan also has. Hi Giovanni, um, I was just wondering. You mentioned on Monday, you know, you wanted to see that reaction and that hunger from the players and everyone moving as one. Considering the performance last night and the reaction you got from your players last night, I just wonder how encouraged you are by the reaction of the squad moving forward. And if it all clicks, do you think you're on for something special here this season? Well, I think as I said before, I, I'm a coach and I was a was a player who was always competing at the, at the top level, and uh, a win was always normal. You had to win games, you have to, you had to win prizes. That's the um, the aim you have. Uh, as a player but also for me as a manager so my task is to make sure that we we keep that drive and keep that uh, hunger and how do you call it hunger passion drive to to be successful you have to have that every game and then um, you know Thursday we showed that but uh, we have to show it on Sunday again because you know the Prague game is over. Now we're looking forward in in competing also uh, for the league again on Sunday, and we have to do all do it all over again. So um, you know, as I said before, happy with the results. Take our recovery today and tomorrow. We uh, we prepare for uh, for Livingston, but with the same intentions we had uh, yesterday. And I think it's now one week since you were announced as the Rangers manager. Can you sum up? How this week has been in terms of a emotional roller coaster for you and your family coming over. How, how has it been for you this first week as Rangers manager? Well, it's been it's been very hectic. Of course, coming in uh, last week, you know, it was a quite busy schedule. You know, with all the things we had to do, the work permits, uh, the contracts, uh, the staff. Uh, so. For us, it was very, uh, very, uh, very busy the last days. Uh, also, uh, you know, with preparing the team, uh, preparing the team for uh, for Prague. Uh, we only had two days, but uh, they were long days. But uh, you know, that's normal when you're in a busy schedule. Even more busier when you, you know, change countries and change uh, environment. But uh, you know, everyone within the club were really helpful in in making sure we were comfortable. So uh, I hope to uh, to have a normal, like a normal weeks uh, ahead. So uh, when we are settled in, it's uh, it would be much easier, and uh, we can concentrate uh, on, on on preparing the team for the games.